Good afternoon, it's Andrew, and this is why we're fat. So, I have a lot of carrots. So many carrots, there's more carrots over there, I've got lots of carrots. So we're gonna make carrot and ginger soup, which is one of my favorite things. Um, super easy, we're gonna use the Instapot. If you don't have an Instapot, a pressure cooker, regular pressure cooker, a slow cooker, or a saucepan on the stove works just as well. Um, but this makes it super easy. So a couple tablespoons of olive oil in there. Knife cuts don't super matter because we're going to puree this to a nice creamy soup. So we're going to add in a bunch of um, onions. I've got my, my Instapot preheated and set to saute. We're going to cook these for just a, a minute or two just to soften them up because we're going to pressure cook them so they're going to get cooked pretty thoroughly pretty fast. We're going to get them tossed around covered in olive oil. We're going to take a teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of black pepper and put that over the top of them and get that going. You can hear them sizzling away. Super great. Fantastic. All right, now we have ginger. This is a lot of ginger. Um, that's good, that's what you want. Um, so the recipe calls for a quarter cup of ginger um, with reserving one tablespoon, which I forgot to get my tablespoon out, um, to put in after. So ginger loses its intensity. Um, as it cooks, so fresh, spicy ginger, kind of that super intense flavor, when it cooks becomes very soft and very subtle. Um, so in order to maintain a bit of that bite, a bit of that, that intensity, you put a bit of fresh ginger in at the very end of the cooking process to kind of pump it back up. But we're gonna put in a lot of ginger. This is ginger and garlic pureed together in the food processor because why spend all that time chopping or grating? Um, we're going to cook them. Onions smell super good. So we're going to put in a good good amount of this now. Probably made a little more than I needed to. Got a little overzealous. We're going to toss it. We're just trying to get the onions translucent just to bring a little bit, get the cooking process started on them. But the smell is so lovely. So this is about a pound, pound and a quarter of cleaned, peeled, and just kind of chopped up chunky carrots. Again, we're gonna put it in the pressure cooker. It's gonna cook on the stove for a good amount of time. So um, it's not gonna make that big a difference. Knife cuts aren't important here, but we're gonna kind of let this go for just another second or two. It smells super good. So then we're gonna put the carrots in there. And surprise, we're all but done. Give it a stir. You know, carrot and ginger soup, who would have thought carrot and ginger were good. Um, and we're gonna put in, um, you can use vegetable stock or chicken stock. I'm using chicken stock. Um, I am not a vegetarian, we are not vegetarians, so chicken stock is fine. But vegetable stock works really well. Um, I would not go straight water here. You definitely want that kind of vegetable-y, vegetable flavor. Um, we're gonna finish the soup with coconut milk when it's done. So that'll give an even interesting more dimension. It's not just gonna be this kind of carroty, spicy, gingery soup. It's gonna have that little bit of kind of that Thai, almost Asian flair to it, which will be super good. But we're gonna stir this up. The, that was a 32 ounce can of, or jug of um, stock is what I used in this. I don't know why I had trouble with that which is if you kind of were to look in the pot, I'm sorry, I can't show you, it is just enough to come to the top of the carrots and onions that we're cooking. So it's not, we're not making a giant thing of soup, but we're gonna put on the Instapot lid. We're gonna put it on pressure cook, custom, for 10 minutes on high, and we're gonna start it, and it's gonna do its thing. Because it was already sauteing and things are already warm, it's gonna not take as long to heat up, which is super great. Um, it'll pressure cook for 10 minutes and then you're gonna let it naturally release. So that takes about 15 or 20 minutes once that's done. And we'll come back once I'm done with that and show you how to puree the soup and finish it off with the coconut milk. Have a great day and we'll talk soon.